and her parents had abandoned her. I get abandonment issues, heavy abandonment issues. She had cancer. I haven't looked at her child, but I get strong cancer energy. Um, and he was like, I'm gonna be your mentor. I'm gonna help. I think they might have met at a party. She was drunk or something. And he was like, I'm gonna take you under my wing. I don't think he had that. Hi everyone, welcome back to No Light Tower. Welcome to No Light Tower. So grateful to have you all. So let's get into the reading. Let me just move my camera a little bit. Um, I was asked to do this by a member. If you want to become a member, check out the perks of the membership. And yeah, really great perks. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. So um, I was asked to do this. It's about Kesha and Luke. I forgot his last name. Luke. Oh my god. I've been sick. I'm going to be blatantly honest with you. For the past, I'd say, month and a half, I've been on and off sick. I've never been sick like this. Like, I've had a cold. And every time I recover, I get sick again. Um, so my brain functionality has not been that well. So I apologize. So I've been forgetting people's names, stuff like that. It's nothing serious. But you know how it is when you're sick. You don't have energy for a lot of things. And actually, I wasn't sick for 10 years. And then when the seed bug came around, I got sick. And then ever since then, this time of year, I get I get sick. So I'm working on my immunity. I do know what the foundation, the root problem is. Um, but I just wanted to be honest with you. If you're like, something's up with her. Yes, something is up with me. But I'm working on my health. And it's all good <laughs> I will get better soon so with that being said I just remembered his name Dr. Luke so Kesha versus Dr. Luke and if you don't know anything about the story basically Kesha has been has alleged that Dr. Luke Luke R worded her um, she had that song praying I love that song um, and so forth and so forth during the Me Too movement um, and yeah I mean I want to be as sensitive as possible about this so um, please to all of those who have been R-worded I'm really really R-worded is the you know big R-word I can't say it because YouTube will demonetize my video but I just want to send you lots of love if you have if you're going through a situation like that if you have been through a situation like that um, so yeah I this is not about people in general that have been R-worded this is but this pertains particularly to the Kesha and Dr. Luke situation. So with the past, I'm gonna pull up the astrology because I feel like I want to delve deep to the actual situation and less about them as personalities and more about the actual situation and what we can learn from this. And as somebody that's been in the entertainment industry, um, I used to be a singer, I used to be a model, um, I have friends who have been in the entertainment industry too actually a lot of my friends used to be i stepped away from that industry and so forth and those kind of people not kind of people you know what i'm saying but just in general i stepped away a lot from the, the entertainment industry and you hear stories and i i'm gonna you know my celebrity stories i am gonna delve into that in <laughs> one of them it's coming up soon um, but I heard a lot of stories, personal stories about people, not about Dr. Luke, but you just hear rampant stories about people that, women that have disappeared because they couldn't take, something happened to them, they couldn't take it anymore, so they left the industry, you know, you hear a lot of stories like that, even to guys, you know, uh, it does, I feel like, happen more to women than it does to men, it happens to men too, and I don't want us to take away from that, especially children. So, with that being said, I do want to be sensitive about this um, because I've seen situations. Personally, I've heard stories. Um, it's never happened to me in this context. I have had my own situations happen to me, but not like this. So, I do want to be respectful of her. But I also have seen the other side of it where I've seen women or men literally use 
the sexual appeal as the advantage in order to get ahead and be in a better situation based on their looks based on them doing sexual favors for people so it is two-sided i think yeah i think it is two-sided <coughs> just gonna be honest with that right there so the past four of swords five pentacles and king of cups so i have a strong feeling that kesha was alone i think she was like homeless and i actually feel like i might have read that somewhere but i get a strong energy she was like homeless and her parents had abandoned her. I get abandonment issues, heavy abandonment issues. She had cancer. I haven't looked at her child, but I get strong cancer energy. Um, and he was like, I'm going to be your mentor. I'm going to help. I think they might have met at a party. She was drunk or something. And he was like, I'm going to take you under my wing. I don't think he had bad intentions. I'm not seeing that here. Now, I could be wrong, but I don't see that here at all. So with the present being Ten of Cups, the Tower and the Star, I strongly feel here that a lot of the image that both of them are portraying is, has fallen. But one of them is going to come out on the other side. <sighs> the person I see coming out on the other side stronger than before is Dr. Luke now like I said I want to be sensitive about this topic in my opinion I do not believe that what Kesha is alleging happened to her happened to her and it's not like I never believe victims I do believe some people Rose McGowan I thousand percent believe about having about that Harvey guy. <laughs> I can't say it's full name, otherwise YouTube is gonna flag me. But like I said, I think it is double sided. There are two sides to the story. And I don't think I'm just telling the full truth here and I'm going to clarify in a moment. But there's something she's leaving out and I don't believe he did it. I just don't. So with the future being Knight of Cups, and you know this is what's so, so so unfortunate. This is my opinion, but when we don't tell the truth, it minimizes our stories, you know? Um, like I said, I've personally had things happen to me, I don't want to go public about it, but I've personally had things happen to me that if I did go public about it, some people wouldn't believe, do you know what I'm saying? And it's fine, whatever. But I think a lot of people don't believe because there are people that are lying. And it's very unfortunate. You know, I think, like the Amber Heard situation, you know, people that just come out with accusations that aren't true. I don't think she's Amber Heard energy, but I don't think she had good intentions. I'm kind of disappointed because I used to really like Kesha. Recently, I've, it's not that I don't like her, and I don't know Dr. Luke at all. I'm not in here. For personal reasons, you know what I'm saying? I never do these readings for personal readings. Some people are like, oh, I'm just going for public favor. I'm like, no. I read what the cards tell me. I'm not doing it for me. <laughs> so the future, Knight of Cups, Four Pentacles, and Knight of Cups. I see some kind of settlement. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I see some kind of settlement. Um, I do think, now, I'm going to be honest with you. I do think that he has sleazy tendencies, but I think she far-fetched the story. I don't think he's like a good guy, you know? I do think he has tendencies, but she took the story to the extreme, if that makes sense. Um, but with the, he has a defamation out on her. She's going to have to settle with him. King of Swords, he's gonna come out. He's going to come out on the other side. I really wish this for her and she can do whatever she wants I'm not giving her advice but I really wish she would seek some kind of therapy see there's a lot of healing that needs to be addressed even to this day that's what I can tell you even to this day I get the strong sense ace of soul there's like a need and this is Hollywood there's a strong need to be noticed and they're gonna go through well more legal issues 
there's a need in a lot of people in the limelight to stay in the limelight and I don't know I just maybe because I grew up in another country well two other countries where South Africa for the most part is very British oriented in terms of stuff like that where the British culture oh maybe African culture like that too but you don't really need to stay relevant like look at Sade to me she is the prime artist her Michael Jackson of course is always going to be up there for me but Sade we don't know anything about her public life her personal life anything at all and yes I do talk about <laughs> celebrities so let's see what we can learn from it but you don't hear her stance on vaccinations you don't hear her stance on politics she just creates music you know and I love that about her and um, I don't think artists should be giving their public opinion about social issues that have nothing to do with them you know I think it's very condescending to do that but that's my opinion I love you all thank you so much for watching take care